QB1 is a business intelligence application for SAP Business One. It has been developed using ClickView. This means that the application is highly customizable to suit your business. In this demonstration today, we're looking at the Sales Analysis Module. This is based on SAP invoices and credit notes. In this table here, we see a list of the company's uh, customers sorted by sales, so the most significant customers are at the top of the list. There's also a graphic over here that displays quickly the significance of that particular customer. We can also see margin and margin percent here. Now we can quickly change to another dimension. For instance, we can look at item group. Then we can look at item name. And again, you'll see that the most significant um, items are listed at the top of the list down to the least significant. And again, margin and margin percent. Also sales rep. So let's go back to customer name. We can also change the information that we're displaying in these columns. At the moment we're looking at margin, but I can switch that off. Now with margin, you note that um, the margin percent is displayed with a certain color. Red meaning that it's underperforming. Um, orange means that it's it's average. And green greens means, means that it's very good. Now this is uh, again very customizable and we can just set, set the targets to suit the business. We can also look at sales for last year and the growth percent from last year. Again, this is just a graphic here that to quickly illustrate how we're performing uh, this year compared with last year. And we can also look at sales by month as a uh, line chart. This chart shows sales and margin over the specified time period. Note that in November and December we had an increase in sales and then a decline in January. This reflects the lead up to the Christmas period. We can also change the um, level of detail. At the moment we're looking at month and year. So we can click on that and it will take us down to week. And we can actually go further down to day. Now we can also modify the specified time period that we're interested in. We can use up in this area here, there's a few ways of doing this. We can use a slider here to change the period of time that we're interested in. Notice as I move that, it's changing the chart down here. I can click on reset and we can also change the uh, number of months that we're looking at. So I can increase the size of that. We can also use the date picker. So if I click on this and if I change this to 2011 and July the 31st. Now all the, all the figures on the tables and the charts now reflect this particular time period. So the sales here and the chart here all reflect this particular time period. Now we can click on the reset button and that will take us to one year up to the current day's date. This chart shows current year sales by month compared with last year's sales. The dark blue line is the current year sales and the light blue line is the prior year sales. These triangles through the middle here indicate the growth percentage from the previous year. So red means a negative growth from prior year and uh, green is a positive growth. Now we now want to analyze a particular customer. So let's have a look at this customer here, Dairy Products Food Wholesalers. And if I click on this item now from the table, all the data now is filtered for this particular customer. So let's see what items they've been buying. So now I'm going to click on the item name. And now it's going to list um, all the items that this particular client has been buying from the company for the last year. And again, you see that this chart down here has been refreshed just for this particular customer. And we can see that we're doing quite well here. We've got a lot of a lot of green triangles, so generally positive growth from the previous year. We can also take a look at the actual figures. We've got another tab here, compare by year. And this will show us for each of the months the sales for the current year and the sales for the 
prior year, the change in terms of dollars and then the growth percentage. We can also look further at the actual invoice details. So if I click on this tab here, this will give us the uh, individual uh, transactions. So see here the invoice, invoice transaction type, uh, the invoice number, uh, when it was posted, uh, the items that were purchased, the quantity, price, sales dollars and the margin.